That would be a fine position to have. A pilot on a cross-country plane. Hey, that'd be even more fun than running a train. Can't you see yourself way up above the clouds, soaring over the mountains, flying over the country, and swooping in for a graceful landing? Stop it! Stop it! You're making me all nervous and dizzy. I could never, never be your companion on a plane. That would be even more impossible than being with you on a train. Why? Rules and regulations again. Always rules and regulations. They say I impair the judgment and dull the senses. And they have very strict rules about letting pilots come in contact with me. It's unheard of. No, we'll have to try something else. Say, do you mind if we rest for a while? I'm all out of breath. Just here by the side of the road for a minute or two. But hold on a minute. Uh, mind if we cross over? I'd rather not walk by that church. That's about the silliest thing you've said yet. You need the church. We all do. Without the church and what it stands for, we'd have nothing. That might be all right for you, but religion and I don't mix. Most pastors are among my greatest enemies. I've lost a lot of my old companions when they've turned from me to the church. Uh, mind if we cross over? I'll meet you over in that other corner. This'll do. We'll rest here. Just for a minute or two. Here, have a sandwich. What you need is some food. No, no, I have no stomach for sandwiches. It's indigestion, you know. Whiskey and food just don't mix. Please put it away. Say, look out there where those miners are coming up from work. Now, there's a worthwhile job. Without those miners, we wouldn't have any coal or ore. And without those things, we wouldn't have any industry. No cars, no planes, trains, stoves, buildings. Why, we wouldn't have anything. They'd never let me underground. The miners say I'm too dangerous. But do you know? A lot of my friends are underground. Way under. Right over there. I must say, I don't think much of your humor. Come on, let's get a move on. We've got to get to the city. Hey, take it easy. Let, let's sit down for a spell. Oh, you're always tired. Maybe if you did a little exercise, well, you might try baseball or football, or look over there at that beach where those people are swimming. Say, that would make you feel real fine. Those waves would pep you up and the nice cold water would clear your head. <clears throat> Never. You must think I'm an awful sissy, but I never did have any place in sports, and athletes spurn me like the plague. Same old story. I interfere with muscle and bone and timing and endurance. You're making me feel very bad. I sure will be glad, as glad as I can be, when we reach the city and I can get home. You should see where I live. That's where I have lots of friends. Yes, sir, lots of friends. Where do you live, and what are your friends like? If you'll pardon me, you seem so particular. It's not that I'm so, part uh, so, uh, so fussy. It's the others who shy away from me and push me about and generally make my life miserable. Just like so many people say, I make their lives miserable. Me, whiskey. There's no justice. Why, just the other day, a dear companion of mine took me home, and his wife raised the roof. Complained of me making her husband spend all his money on me. On me. Just imagine. Why, he didn't spend any more money on me than he did on my kinfolk, wine, rum, and beer. And then she had the nerve to take me by the neck and throw me out of the window. I still have the bruises. Look. The other day I passed my ex-companion on the street and he avoided me. Cut me dead. No wonder I have complexes. Well, it seems to me that you would change your way of living. 
Well, if I did that, I'd never come in contact with people. I'd never have any companions. From what you've told me, I'd say people would be a lot better off if they never came in contact with you. Why, that's not a bit polite. I'm really quite a gay fellow. Look. Just look at that big ship. Now, that would be a fine life, captain of a ship, with all the sea and oceans as highways. Think of all the fun it would be to travel and see strange lands and romantic islands. It makes me seasick even to think of such a thing. If I can't be your companion on a train or a plane, it certainly stands the reason that I couldn't be with you on board a ship. No, I could never be responsible for all those people on board. Now, come on. Ah, I'm beginning to feel a bit better. <coughs> Pretty soon we'll be home now. Just smell that lovely, fresh soot. It's a fire you smell over there. Why, the whole building is ablaze. important job for you. A fireman. How would you like that? You know I could never be companion to a fireman. They, they say I have not the nerve for it, and I'd soon ruin your nerves and strength. No, that's not the job for us. Anyway, I hate water. to one of my oldest friends, right down this alley. Come on. Hello there, my friend. How are you? I have someone I want you to meet. This is Bill. I'm going to be his companion while he's in the city. Oh, oh it's you, is it? I thought I'd gotten away from you. If I wasn't so weak, sick, I'd break your miserable neck. Ah, so you think you found a new companion, huh? Well, not if I have my say. Young fella, you get out of here before it's too late. This, uh, Mr. Whiskey, never be your friend. Ah, in the beginning, you'll pretend to be. Make all sorts of grand promises, but in the end, you'll have all your health and all your money and might even make you a slave. Get out of here, boy, and fast. Rubbish. That's no way for you to talk. 
Don't listen to him, Bill. Look, Mr. Whiskey, or whatever your name is, I don't like it here. I'm going to leave. That's right, boy. Get out of here. Yeah, you've seen the men on the street. There are countless thousands of us who have listened to his promises. And look at us now. All men of extinction. Go on home. Just a minute, my dear young sir. I don't give up so easily. Friends are hard to find, and I insist that we be companions. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Get your hands off me. Shivers. Oh, shivers. Am I glad to see you. What a terrible dream I had. It was a dream, I think. But at the same time, it seems so real. Boy, I'd never want a companion like that old Mr. Whiskey. No, sir. You know, isn't this the most beautiful place in the whole wide world? Come on, let's go see what happens to this. Come on. Well, there's one who got away from me. But I'll keep trying. <laughs>